On to East Africa yet again. China is helping Uganda to improve the quality and the volume of water transport on Lake Victoria. To that end, it's assembling a $13 million vessel to help move cargo from Kenya and Tanzania. Here's Isabel Nakiria with more. Final touches to Uganda's first dredge ship. Chinese company, the Mango Tree Group, is working around the clock to finish the ship. This is where the long journey to dredge East Africa's waterways will begin. Clearing of the lake bed will enable East Africa ports to handle bigger cargo ship and increase trade with other nations. Work is expected to begin at the end of January when the engineering ship is complete. The project is meant to ease water transport between the three countries, Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. These nations share the waters of Africa's largest lake, Lake Victoria. It's hoped this will reduce transit time and cost. Every day hundreds of trucks carrying tons of goods move through Uganda's borders to and fro the ports and there is danger on some roads. Yet the trucks take up to three days before they reach Kampala. But using water transport, it takes about 15 hours only. Uganda imports most of its goods by road from Kenya and Tanzania. Easing water transport means traders will have a reliable alternative as the East African trade block awaits the construction of a long-awaited railway. China also plans to make use of materials that will be extracted from the waterbed. This is a dredging ship as we all know. Now if we dredge the rock and sand from the lake, we deliver it to land and use machines to separate the different items. This material can be used as construction material for ports, railways and airports. Kenya and Tanzania's ports have recently carried out additional dredging at the East African coast. Uganda says its efforts to dredge its waters will increase efficiency in its import and export trade. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Entebbe, Central Uganda.